from Greenville, South Carolina originally and grew up in a small business household. His father, Joe, has owned and operated Joe. Patriot Concrete Cutting since 2001. With this upbringing, Mark has heard the common struggles and sacrifices that small business owners have grown daily. Mark started his professional career at Chapel Hill as the director of uh, uh, golf construction from 2016 to, 2000, or to 2020. Uh, applying his coaching techniques with the commercial insurance industry may not seem cohesive, but there are a lot of similarities you may not realize. Mark has been a commercial insurance broker with Seagrass Insurance for just under four years and wants to provide business owners with options to best protect their businesses in the event of a claim. Mark can now speak about the current insurance industry struggles and what to expect in the coming months and years. So with that, let's give him a big hand. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, appreciate the opportunity. I think this is my third time speaking. And, um, try to be as consistent as possible coming here for, for over three years now and been beneficial to my, my company. So for all, all the, uh, the newcomers here and the first timers, please um, make this a consistent uh, stop for you. It's once a month. It does not take a lot in hot breakfast. Again, there's a lot of reasons to be here. I've got clients that are in the room. Um, I appreciate the trust. Uh, and, and again, I've, I've become a better commercial insurance agent and a better person from, from attending this group. So thank you, Jeff, for organizing again. Thank you. Um, so a couple of things that I want to do today. Uh, I want to give you a quick synopsis of what the insurance industry is looking like and where it's going. Um, not a very fun topic, but then we'll get to the fun stuff on why you should partner with me and the Seagroves Agency and why the independent insurance agent is invaluable. It's going to be a valuable asset in, in this year um, with the coming times and the coming rates. So um, two things I want to touch on, uh, auto rates and property. So we'll start with auto, uh, a couple of the things that are contributing to this. So again, we have to understand that everyone in the room, even though we are insured by different companies, uh, we are sharing this expense. We're sharing this risk. So if someone has a bad claim down the street, it ripples through the market. If these insurance companies are not making money on the premium that we pay every month, it is a simple math problem at that point. They are going to increase rates. Uh, just this year, insurance carriers applied to increase home uh, insurance 42% in North Carolina. If anybody got a 42% increase, I think we're gonna call our agent, we're not gonna be very happy, right? Ultimately, they will settle lower than that, right? We'll be probably in the, in the high single digits or in the low double digits on what they will settle at. But if the insurance carriers are asking for that, then there's some trouble in the water there, right? So um, with, with getting back to auto rates, um, I'm going to touch on five quick things. Bodily injury uh, costs. So when people are getting in wrecks, things are much more expensive. This goes back into health, health costs. Uh, inflation, supply chain, all of those things correlate here. Um, bodily injury costs are up 40% in a five-year period. So from 2018 to 2020, they are up 40%, but frequency is down. Severity is up. So there's less wrecks happening, but there are worse wrecks. So why is that happening? Distracted drivers, we can't get off our phones, we're eating in, in, eating in the car, still number one cause of distracted uh, claims, distracted driving claims is eating, not cell phone. Wow. Stop eating in the car. <laughs> um, third thing is, is attorney involvement, predatory injury lawyers. I don't think there's any injury lawyers in here, so I'm not going to offend anybody, but when they get involved, we can't talk to you. you it, is, it is up to the lawyers at that point. The insurance companies are going to settle as quickly as possible because they don't want to deal with it either. So predatory injury lawyers is a problem. Once they're involved, it, it, it really is a difficult um, situation for the agent. We, we just can't simply be involved at that point. Um, inexperienced drivers, so on the commercial side, stop hiring in, inexperienced drivers, run an MVR. If, you're, if your agent is unwilling to do that, find one that will, I will. All of our companies and our carriers, we have the capability of offering free NBR, run, uh, NBR checks before you hire that, that person to, to get behind the wheel. Um, vehicle repair and, and cost to repair. Again, all of the vehicles out there have more computers, more, more chips, and everything involved there. So 
uh, quickly over to property. Um, six drivers, cat claims, so catastrophic losses. $100 billion was paid out in 22, $100 billion. And out of that, um, we are predicting another $140 billion this 20, 2024. Premiums just simply have not increased that, that much. So again, going back to the simple math problem, $1 a premium, there's being more than $1 paid out every month on claims. So that will result in a increase in rates across the board, no matter what company you're with. Um, supply chain, skilled labor shortage, um, recommendations on, on maintenance recommendations are up 56%. We just don't have the skilled labor force. Uh, and millennials like me are not picking up tool sets, they're not getting their hands dirty, they're not fixing things, they want to work remote and go hide in the woods somewhere. Um, <laughs> aging, aging infrastructure, uh, that's, that's another issue. Those things just, they, they correlate to more auto claims. Uh, bad condition roads result in more claims. There, there's just such a snowball effect here. Um, and to quickly wrap up, why, why to work with an independent insurance agent on the business side and the commercial side is I have 40 to 50 different carriers I can pursue a, a customized, tailored insurance program for each individual business. A roofer's policy must be much different than a brewery policy. There's different exposures. There's people on roofs versus beer that is being made as we speak right now. So those things need to be considered. Partner with an independent agent that has a flexible, uh, nimble ability to insure uh, different businesses with different exposures. Uh, again, appreciate your time. Mark Ingalls with the Sea Grubs Agency. We'd love to meet you. Mark, what's your specialty as far as commercial insurance is concerned? Who is your best? Your Go ahead. My, my, my passion is restaurants and breweries, right? So I think it's clear that I go to a lot of restaurants around <laughs> here. Um, Durham, I love. Uh, I love partnering with the chef-owned places. So the, the, the person that is making the food in the back that actually owns the, the restaurant, that is a passion project. It's not the most premium. It's not where I make the most money. But it's something I enjoy. I patronize those places. I take them serious. I know the sacrifices that they do make. Uh, breweries I love as well. Uh, love to test the products, make sure everything's <laughs> um, But yeah, restaurants, breweries, and then again with my construction family background, I'm very comfortable with what a safe work, work site looks like, how to keep your employees safe, how to keep your valued employees that have been there for years and keep them safe and healthy. Cool. All right, that's all we have time for. Sorry, if you have a question, stick around and talk to you after.